Parker. Well, I guess this one died of a massive lead intolerance. In a time of zombie invasion, having a medic around is an invaluable asset. Don't be fooled, however. <laughs> Parker is a hardened warrior and can pull her own weight around and yours if needed. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. Yes, I'm a girl. There's no straw, though. Maybe there's a Darren. Oh, there's your bars with the bit of casings and stuff, they're cool. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the Battle Hammer. This is a an attempted unboxing of lots of different stuff that Straw got. <laughs> I was just having a rummage and he got the camera out, so this is a little uncomfortable. But the main boxes he's got are the Rue Morgue, and Angry Neighbours from the Zombie Side Kickstarter. Um, he also got expansions which include the Lost Zombivers, which I believe are the the zombies of the survivors from the other two sets. I'm being told that's correct. And VIPs, very infected people, which are specialist zombies, which you can introduce into the game. Um, they're like hard character zombies, I think, that then give you the chance to get um, <clears throat> special weapons, pimped up weapons. So that's cool. There's also some dices. Brown dice and yellow dice. Brown dice for when you're upset and yellow dice for when you're not that upset. Uh, and extra zombie side characters, which are based but not legally based because they have different stories and names on some of the big, uh, big Bang Theory characters. You've got Audrey who is Amy, uh, Nikki who I believe is Penny, Patrick who is um, Leonard, and my super favourite Miss Trish. You're just a pervert aren't you really? I am, I am just a pervert, yeah. Who is Sweet Bernadette, whom I adore with all my soul. So I'll be playing <laughs> her at some point. <laughs> or at least with her. Various boxes of things, of extra cards, more zombie and equipment cards, team cards, because they in, I think it's Rue Morgue, have introduced team playing, so you can have one team start on one side, another team start on the other side, zombies in the middle, BATTLE! Um, so they've got special team cards which do various things, so you can have extra actions, I think, for your men, so they can get extra moves and things like that. Um, a fancy little plastic box to put all your cards and character cards in, which is quite nice. There you've got a Achille, a heel, who is in no way based on Hannibal Lecter for um, you know, legal purposes. He's in no way connected to that. You know, we'll say that it's not. A nice um, biohazard type dice bag, which I quite enjoy. It's pretty cool because it's got a little biohazard sign, and zombies are a biohazard, and it feels nice. Mm. Kind of silky, isn't it? Silky. Yeah, it is silky. Um, a dice tower <laughs> for rolling dice in the top. <laughs> Plinky plonky, comes out the bottom, so it's draw like that because there's less mess of dice on the table. You will roll your dice Oh, it annoys me. It annoys me. And lots of things annoy you. Yeah. True. Various, within the boxes you've got plenty of zombies and character sheets and cards and more zombies and more zombies again with the zombies um, for, for that's for the room morgue set I believe and in the angry neighbors set you've got um, helpers or not co-stars I'm trying to think of the word but they're expansions of people who follow you around and do stuff for you um, scratch your bum uh, and stuff like that. I think you've got snipers and stuff. We've got a crossbow. Crossbows are cool. Um, so that's more stuff and even got another box of miniatures which I'm not sure if that's through Morgue minis or the other ones but they're all green and weird looking kind of a weird green and yellow. Um, and they're the Skinner zombies aren't they? Skinner zombies and crawlers. Yeah because the black ones are the um Seeker zombies. Uh, 
Uh, Although we still don't know what the birds are for. No, there's birds, flocks of crows, one assumes of evil. But they look cool. We don't know what they're for, but they look really cool. Um, and about what looks like barricades made of yep. beds and stuff. Yeah. A um, couple of nice touches is you've got uh, characters that are based on things. So you've got a Gordon Ramsay. Now oh, fuck off, have we? <laughs> yeah. Um, you've got a Raj. And what I particularly like is you've got uh, Heisenberg from um, Breaking Bad, but when he turns into a zombie, he's not in his Heisenberg outfit, he's in his uh, hazmat suit for when he's making Crystal Meth. <laughs> Isn't that nice, <laughs> kiddies? Mm, um, crystal so, yeah, Meth. St yeah. <laughs> so Straw got a big fat bunch of... Plastic um, crack. Plastic crack, the zombie side. My favourite thing, going through the, rule, the Rue Morgue rulebook, um, which is all the... Exp one of the main expansions, um, and it's got new characters, new missions. Has it got rule for team playing here? Yeah, and new zombie types and stuff like that. Um, but my favourite thing in here is there's a new character called Parker with its own model. That's really cool because my name's Parker, or well, my surname's Parker, but you know, then I can have a model that's me. But it's a girl. It's 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 based on my, my actual life. In, it's got. Uh, Edwin Kosh MP5 <laughs> and a uh, cavalry sabre. And she's a medic and, and a helicopter is a, pilot. is a medic, like I am in real life, and a helicopter pilot, which I can totally do. That's how I got here today from home, you know, and I flew by helicopter. And the only subtle difference, really, is that, that I don't have a satchel like that, you know, and nor do I have boobs because it's, it's But a you are a tit. I um, made it, but yeah, my character named after me is a girl, so <laughs> I have to get my moves bigger. <clears throat> There's even little things like stickers and stuff to put on your dice tower, loads of crap that Straw's got. Um, and this is a big shout out to George for you specifically because we know you like the hot dog guy from his other zombie set. They've even got a zombie hot dog guy. So you can be, when you die and become a zombie, you can still have your hot dog outfit. That's pretty cool, right? I mean, that's pretty cool. And you've got pimps, zombies, burger bar zombies, um, cop zombies, I think, as well. I mean, there's just loads of cool stuff in there. If you didn't have enough zombies already, Straw, now you've got more zombies. You're the one that used all the zombies in 40k, mate. I know. I'm just gutted I can only have one unit of 50. Well, we'll just, have, have we'll just have to get together and do a big game and then we can have two units. Yeah, there is that. Yeah. You can't have enough zombies, right? Never enough zombies. Including you've got various zombie books, various other zombie games. Um, and this is going to be a prelude for the Easter game, which is on the 18th, I believe, yep. um, of Zombie Side, which will set up a big table, have two groups, probably the Watson clan versus other people. Um, and I'm sure they'll destroy us, especially if George is anything like he normally is. No, because he'll be running well. after all the Easter eggs and all the zombies will be following him, so we'll be safe. That's true. So don't kill George straight away. No, there is that. Um, but that'll be a good battle with team, introduction of teams, different kinds of zombies, um, any other little extra rules we find. I'm obviously going to be playing Parker, the girl, but she's a medic, which is a really handy rule, which means you can heal people for free, so you need to keep me alive. You know, just cause I suppose I'm, you're going to have to take the figure home and paint her then. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> That's never going to happen, That's is it? Happen. <laughs> um, hey, don't judge me. Just because my little plastic model of myself is transgender, there's no reason to judge me. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I mean, <clears throat> it's a future, it's post-apocalyptic. You know, obviously I've had some sort of life change. You know. But you've got one. <laughs> oh, harsh but fair. So that was a, a quick unboxing of the huge amount of stuff that Straw got from Call Mini or Not, uh, from Guillotine Games, from the um, Kickstarter, from whenever it was last year. Thank you very much. Uh, keep watching the Battle Hammer. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. See you next time.